For most of us here in Hong Kong, going home is something that we do every day. With a flicker rail tourist card, we're able to take advantage of the excellent top of the class public transportation system in commuting in just a matter of hours, if not minutes. When we look at the chapter mainly in China, soon we'll learn that being able to go home and see our loved ones every day is actually a privilege. About a month before the Chinese New Year, some 700 million migrant workers, a hundred times the population of Hong Kong and twice that of the United States, trying to get a seat in any form of transportation to reach home, leaving the major economic powerhouses such as Beijing, Shanghai and Shenzhen half empty. This is indeed the biggest annual human migration in the world. Those with deep pockets see themselves enjoy the relative comforts of the try-to-be-on-time flights. Others cram into trains and coaches to fill every available space, be it standing, sitting in a seat, or on someone else's labs. For the more budget-conscious breed, days of unwanted re-massage on their motorbikes on the most unpaved, rugged roads seems to be the only option. Worse still, they have to carry bulky souvenirs, so not to disappoint their family at home. The entire travel can last up to 40 days. And that, of course, is not the end of the story. Managers of the factories in those big cities share the same anxiety as their migrant subordinates, because a fraction of them never come back after the Chinese New Year. If the migrant workers can land a job with comparable wages near their homes, of course they're going to avoid all the long journey back to their original. You can imagine the fun that factory managers have when they need to hire new people, train them up and lead them to fight the tight deadlines. The take home point for today is when you get stuck in a horrible situation, always look at the people around you. Nine out of 10 times, I guarantee that you'll find yourself in a situation that you're more fortunate than most of the others. Bad times are inevitable. They've come to me, you and every one of us and at some point during the new year, they will come back. But if you realize that you are already the lucky ones, you're gonna be stronger, tougher, and rock harder in the new year.